this is uh, Fred and uh, I've heard a rumor that the uh, Ogopogo is over this way so I'm having a look to see if I can find the Ogopogo. Oh, I see something up ahead that looks mighty like the Ogopogo. What is this? Well, I don't think that's the Ogopogo. Here's something else. Well, I would say definitely not the Ogopogo. I see you have uh, the Vintage Beauty Skin Care. Can you tell me a bit, uh, first of all, what's your name? My name's Janine Lemaire. And can you tell me a bit about your business, Janine? Sure. My husband and I moved here from Winnipeg in 2006 and we were planning on retiring. We were just so enamored with the beautiful Okanagan Valley that we decided that we could maybe make a small contribution by making some great based skin care products. So that's sort of how our company started. We tried to use grape seed oil, or grape seed extract, or crushed grape seeds, and everything that we do because it's a really good antioxidant. It's great for your skin. And so we started with a lip balm and a hand lotion, and we've kind of grown from there. We make everything by hand ourselves in West Kelowna, where we live. These are our shelves, they're sea urchins and they come from Florida because we winter in Florida. So it's kind of a pastime that we have that we get to comb the beaches and find sea urchins. We don't take anything out of the ocean of course, but if they're washed up dead then we feel we can get them before the seagulls do, we will. We clean them up, scrape off the spines, disinfect them and then I fill them with plaster and decorate them all differently. Sounds like a nice lifestyle. You spend your summers at that market here in the Okanagan, which is a beautiful place to be, and then down to Florida for the winter. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> Life you, is short. Do you have any other recreational activities you do? Yes. We um, play, I teach Zumba. Zim, Zumba. Zumba. Oh yes, my sister does that and actually she's from the Winnipeg area. Isn't okay. that an amazing coincidence? Yeah. So uh, Zumba, that's kind of an exercise dance yeah, kind of, of a routine. Latin dance aerobic kind of uh, routine where uh -huh. uh, we do merengues and salsa and cumbia and all those kind of dances to music but it's a real good workout for an hour and people have so much fun they don't recognize that they're actually exercising. Well that's wonderful. And then we paddleboard, we do stand up paddleboarding. And that's when we were doing that down in Florida this winter, that was getting us over to some islands that we couldn't get to otherwise because you can't walk or drive to them. So we got some access to places where we could find urchins that we couldn't before and different kinds of shells. Oh, that sounds like a, it would be terrific fun. It is, yeah. How, how far would you paddleboard? Um, I guess we could just more go by time. Well, you know, we could be out on the water for two and a half, three hours sometimes, depending where we're going and what the wind is like. Yeah, I guess that's a concern. What happens if the if the weather turns on you in a hurry? You really just gotta hug the shore. I mean, you can be you can be on your knees as well. You don't have to be standing up. So if it's particularly rough, we'll get down on our knees and just paddle and kind of keep along the shoreline. Florida, the good thing is it's not very deep where we go. There's a lot of intercoastal waterways, so you maybe be in four or six feet of water. You know, so it wouldn't be that dangerous. But and of course, it's not hurricane season in the winter. Sounds like a great lifestyle. It is. Well, thanks very much. You're welcome. Hi there. Hi. Can you tell me your name? My name is Sylvia. Sylvia. And what is the name of your business, Sylvia? The Sheepish Green Knit Company. And what is it that you're selling? I sell hand-dyed yarns for knitting. And uh, what are you doing now? Uh, 
Um, I'm using, this is a Nitty Naughty, and that is a Swift. And I am restaining my yarn. <laughs> ah. So, um, how long have you been doing this? Um, I've been creative for my whole life. I've been dyeing yarn for the past little while. Um, but I've been doing all sorts of stuff. I've been working in knitting for a long time. And so it was just a natural progression that I would start making my own yarn. So, yeah. And do you, what else do you do when you're not doing this? Um, aside from knitting, I, I'm a huge photo junkie. I run a dark room. I do specialize in pinhole photography. And I do play. I do, I don't know, what else do I do? How about recreation? Recreation, I love to hike and climb, uh, swimming. Do you do hiking in the hills around here or? Yeah, Cougar Canyon is one of my favorite places to go. Uh, yeah, well there's certainly a lot of great hiking in the Okanagan. There's no doubt about it. Well, I'll just take a little shot of your table here. Well, thanks very much for participating and uh, I uh, hope you'll get to uh, take a look at Fred and Sharon's reality show. Thanks for shooting me. I'm at the Kelowna waterfront on the shores of Okanagan Lake near City Park. And this is a very popular meeting place in Kelowna, the sculpture known as the Sails. And if you want to see what the Ogopogo looks like, come down here and look over the lake and you just might get to see him. Or if you don't see him, you could just look over here at a popular representation of the Ogopogo. I'm down here looking out over the lake, just in case. You never know. Hi guys. How are you today? Not too bad. Do you like Fred Hicken? Kelowna you mean? No, in Fred Hicken I got oh. some for you if you like. Oh sure, there okay. You Thank you. How are you? Great job Fred. Mother Nature sure makes some colorful stuff. Those people really know their crystals. The salt lights were super cool too. Forget any health benefits, just think they look cool. I was really interested to hear more about having a private lake in my backyard. His summer job sounds cool. You should go and film his backyard man-made lake. Boomer, Canadian couple.